Alexa, who's your favourite Overwatch character? I like Zenyatta, <laughs> a peace-loving robot. He can heal allies with his orbs of harmony, but I'm still working on that one. <laughs> How cool is that, ladies and gentlemen? If you've got an Amazon Alexa, you can ask her what her favourite Overwatch character is and she will tell you. That is beautiful. I mean, it's got literally zero use because once you've done it once, why would you do it again? It's, like, ridiculous. You've got to ask yourself, who the hell at Blizzard is sitting there with, with, with so much time on their hands? They're like, oh, yeah, you know what? Let's get an Amazon Alexa command because that's that's what we need. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the channel. I am Stylosa and it looks like Lucio Ball is coming back. We've got some bits of information that I'm going to show you in this video which are very beautiful. But but before we get stuck into the video, check this out. This is some data mind intro music, um, obviously for Overwatch. And uh, yeah, this is uh, this sounds really, really nice. Check this out. That sounds like Superman. <laughs> That's the first thing I thought. I was like, what is it? It's like Superman Overwatch music. It sounds ridiculous. Now, there's a few ways of looking at this, isn't there? It could be um, just some like random music. Now, if you think about the way that the data mining has been done in the past, the Overwatch Uprising music, we got that like four months, I think, before the event actually came out. So this could potentially be something like that again. However, I'm going to keep this pretty simple because I think, honestly, the answers are generally right in front of our face. This sounds like... Um, sporting music. It sounds like heroic music, like you've achieved a goal. It's like, yes, I am epic. Yes. But it also does sound like Superman music. I think it's really good. That This is honestly one of the better soundtracks that I've heard. I, I really did like the Uprising soundtrack, though. That was pretty good because we all thought that was Doomfist, remember? Because when we logged into the PTR at that time, it just literally played that music <laughs> at the start. It was like, what is this? Um, and nobody knew what it was. But anyway, yeah, this sounds really good. Now, it could be one of two things, couldn't it? Like I said, it could either be the intro music for the 2017 Summer Games, or it could be something totally, like, completely ridiculous. Like, you know, let's just go way out there. Let's go way out there into space. You could say that this is, like, galactic music as well. Like, it's the whole epic sort of sound score thing. Maybe a little bit of Star Wars-y kind of stuff going on. I don't know. You could say maybe this is something to do with Hammond, because we know Hammond was in space. But then that's getting really far-fetched. And like I said, Probably, we should just keep it really simple. This is most definitely, I'd say, the Summer Games 2017 intro music, just because of, well, it sounds like a sporting event kind of music. At least that's what I think, anyway. But there's actually other evidence as well, guys. If you log into the PTR and go to your career profile, now what you need to do for this is make sure you've got all modes selected and just click on any hero. And what you will see is three statistics, goals, interceptions, and saves. Those, if I've never heard of them before, ladies and gentlemen, are Lucio Ball statistics, right? You have a goalkeeper, you shoot to score, and then you intercept the ball. Um, yeah, we, I think interception would be tackles, wouldn't they, if this was actual real football? Ladies and gentlemen, interception. Anyway, those statistics probably do indicate that, yes, Lucio Ball is coming back. Well, this is a big question, though, isn't it? What's going to go on with this event? Because we know this is going to be the first Overwatch event that has been recycled. Now, remember, Jeff actually came out a while ago when they did the uh, the whole press briefing in New York a couple of months back and said, yeah, um, we're not actually going to be doing new events every single time. What we're going to do is reuse the existing events. And I was like, oh, uh oh, this could be bad because if they start reusing events, they're going to lose the impact, right? When the event comes around, people are like, ah, oh, you know, oh, great, it's, it's some games again it's not like what is the event going to be and all the speculation surrounding that then the big surprise of like wow this is the event we never expected this we now know that yeah summer games is coming back so what are they going to do well 
they really need to build on on the game, don't they? They need to build on what they've they've actually got in place because Lucio Ball was the first event specific brawl that let you play outside of the sort of overwatch standard mechanics so it's not an fps game is it it's basically well it kind of is right fps um, uh, rocket league right with the ball that's kind of what it is so they need to enhance that if they just release lucio ball again in its same state that's going to be slightly disappointing to me because well it, it's pretty old yeah lucio ball came out pretty much a couple of months after the game launched you know it's over a year old it's it's yeah it's a bit janky and also if i'm totally like brutally honest it was fun but i think i played it for like three or four games and then i just never even went back the other events that we've had i've played them quite consistently even the the may uh, snowball thing which was like i didn't think that was too great but even though even so i kind of give that the you know the, the the advantage over lucio ball i don't know so what i'm hoping they do is they give us another event as well as Lucio Ball. That would be absolutely awesome. But what kind of event could this be? Well, there's been a load of stuff with Diva, hasn't there, recently? Now, maybe the Summer Games, and when I say a load of stuff with Diva, with Diva's voice actress, Charlotte Chung, she's been teasing things on Twitter, and we've still not seen any of that information, so hopefully we'll get some sort of announcement today or something. Jeff was in the developer update video with his Diva t-shirt on all these little subtle hints. Something's going on with Diva. Maybe the 2017 Summer Games are being held in South Korea, and because it's diva related i mean all this is just obviously speculation guys maybe we'll get like we got lucio ball for brazil maybe we'll get i don't know diva diving or something like uh, synchronized diving where we have to do certain like um button presses it kind of would make sense right because she's a pro gamer you know like in a fighting game back back forward back back up down whatever to perform a move right maybe something like that maybe it's diva fighting i don't know that's just crazy wild speculation. Guys, go mental in the comments below. But one thing's for sure, we're probably, well, we're definitely getting these Summer Games 2017. That sounds like the intro music to me, and we're going to get statistics for it as well. Guys, I've been Stylosa. This is Unit Lost. If you enjoyed the video, then like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, and uh, join the Discord, which is discord.gg forward slash Unit Lost. And I'll catch you next time, guys. Toodaloo. Oh, and remember to talk to your Alexa and ask her what her favorite Overwatch character is. <laughs>